Weaver. Make your choice. Shuttle and loom, I weave your doom. In Dota 1, Weaver cannot proc a Geminate attack on the attack out of Shikuchi. In Dota 2, a Geminate attack will proc from the Shikuchi attack. In Dota 1, the beetles from the swarm work as a grouped swarm. If you are hit by the swarm group, then a beetle will attach to you. When the beetle attaches to you, it is visually taken out of the swarm, and the beetle count will be one less. However, the AoE of the swarm is never reduced. Even if there's visually only one beetle left, the AoE for latching remains a constant 300 and will never be distorted. For example, if six beetles latch onto these top six heroes, the next top six heroes behind them will still be latched onto as well, even though the remainder of the beetles are visually below these six heroes. Again, the swarm is almost purely visual and will remain a constant 300 AoE. Now in Dota 2, the latching logic is a bit different, and it seems to be that the 12 beetles work independently. Once a beetle is latched, it is removed both visually and physically. This lone beetle is only able to latch within its individual detection range, not within the groups. This means that in Dota 2, it is technically possible to dodge the swarm by hiding behind creeps or other heroes. Additionally, in Dota 1, the beetles from the swarm seem to be actual units that are attacking, and each attack will minus armor. As such, they are subject to the rules of attacking. If a unit has evasion, then the beetles can miss on their attacks. Attacks that are missed will not reduce armor or deal damage. In Dota 2, the beetles do not follow all of the attacking rules, one of those being that their attacks can never be evaded. Every attack will deal damage and reduce armor, regardless of any evasion the enemy may have. Dota 1's beetles can also proc Moment of Courage and Reactive Armor when they attack. Dota 2's beetles will not proc these spells. Also in Dota 1, if you banish yourself with a Ghost Scepter, then the bugs will not attack you or lower your armor for its duration. They will also not interrupt Coddle's recall during Banish, since they're technically not attacking. However, in Dota 2, the bugs will still attack you and minus your armor even through your ethereal form, even though the bugs are doing physical attacks which should not target you. Since they're still attacking you, it will interrupt Coddle's recall regardless of being ethereal. In Dota 1, time lapses 5 seconds is based on real time or game time. So, if Weaver dies, waits to respawn, then uses time lapse when he revives, he will not be teleported anywhere since he wasn't previously anywhere 5 seconds ago. However, if you were to die, then immediately bought back and used time lapse within 5 seconds, you could be teleported back into the fight, since it was 5 seconds in real time. In Dota 2, Time lapse is based on the time that Weaver is alive, though Appleson explained it very well on the dev forms. When Weaver is alive, the recording is ongoing. When Weaver dies, it is paused and standing by. And when he is alive again, then the recording will resume. Because of this, if Weaver were to die, wait out the respawn timer, then use time lapse when he revives, some 60 some odd seconds later, he'd be worth back 5 seconds in time based on when he was alive. However, be careful when using this with buyback, because depending on whether you were solely killed or burst down, you could time lapse back into a fight with full HP or very low HP. As of note, during your Aegis death, the recording is paused until you revive again as well, so it's possible to time lapse away within 5 seconds after Aegis usage. If you missed part 1, you can find it over on my channel, Proves Reviews. See you next week for Weaver Part 3. Thanks for watching.